looks like it belongs. With a tomb's health, you shouldn't have any trouble uncovering the more elusive elements hidden throughout the grounds. Why don't you try out his blessing on that stone over there? Autumn be pressed. Son of Gaia approves. Something terrible happened here. Show me the way. This area, it feels wrong somehow. I sense an old suffering. Members of the local coven were persecuted here. And worse. Witches? Salem's history with witches may have been distorted over the years, but some things are true. The witches of Salem did their best to thwart Shaw, but he rallied his congregation against them. The catalyst of the infamous Salem Witch Trials. When the Coven called out in distress, it was Lilith and Sarah who came to their aid.
They came all the way from Transia with the Abbey to help a group they had never met? You may not believe it, but I'm sure you would have done the same. Isn't that why the Sons are here today? Aside from that, your mother and Sarah both saw the signs of Cathan's influence. They knew there was more happening in Salem than the persecution of witches. Cathan's corruption had taken root in the New World just like the colonists themselves. And while Lilith and Sarah were still preoccupied in Transia, they entrusted one of the Moon Seals to the Knights of Wondergore, who brought it to the Coven with the hope that its power would reinforce them enough to deal with Shaw. But that is not what happened. Unfortunately, no. When the plague came to Salem, the same one that afflicted your father, Shaw used it to further agitate his flock by placing the blame squarely on the Coven. And the witches? The mob was vicious. And the rest is history. But what about the Moon Seal? After the trials, the Moon Seal vanished along with Shaw. Without drawing any conclusions, I think we can both guess where it went. If this was his church, then it is possible the seal is still here, or somewhere nearby. You read my mind. Good hunting, dear. Is this always here? I may have forgotten a few things, but I feel as if I would remember a decrepit church on the grounds. You may not remember the structure, but maybe you've heard of the man responsible for it? Hiram Shaw? This was his house of worship, and like a great many things on the grounds, Sarah preferred to keep it in a sort of mystic quarantine. Even I haven't been inside. Is that all she did while I slept? Seal things off for our protection? She can be overzealous at times, but in this case, she was right to be wary. So what dark secret does this place hold? When Hiram Shaw first came to Salem, he was little more than a charlatan posing as a preacher. He managed to convince a few desperate souls to join his congregation and with their help, he broke ground on this church. Whether it was coincidence or fate, in digging beneath the church, Shaw found something that would change the course of all of our lives. A long-forgotten page of the Darkhold. If Shaw found a page of the Darkhold, it was because Kuthan wanted it that way. I tend to agree. That cursed book is always seeking out a way to return its master to power. And a power-hungry preacher makes for the ideal messenger of darkness. Yes, Shaw was an eager study, consumed almost immediately by the whisperings of Cathan and the Darkhold's power. Nearly overnight, the people of Salem old and new were at his threshold, waiting for the word. It's always good to see you. Tell me about Hiram Shaw. By all accounts, Hiram Shaw was a desperate man. Desperate for power, wealth, influence, the usual desires that cloud men's minds. As I understand it, he was a largely unsuccessful minister before his arrival at Salem, traveling from place to place, swindling whatever followers he managed to gain before being run out of town. To think that a simple man like Shaw finding a piece of the Darkhold was enough to set all of this in motion, it puts things in perspective. What do you know about my father? That's not an easy question, dear. What would you like to know? Was he a good man? 
Yes, I think he was. Your mother loved him dearly, and he doted over her. I think for a time she forgot who she was, where she came from. And I don't mean that as a bad thing. She and Sarah both deserve to find something more than just another fight with C'thon. Lilith did. Sarah didn't. At least, not for a while longer still. I honestly think that's the only thing she ever had against him, blood or not. Until we speak again. This must be Shaw's study. Must not be her purview. The goddess of order approves. Not like anything I have seen on the grounds before. And yet, it's familiar somehow. Like the wards of protection that Wanda invoked to protect Doctor Strange's sanctum? Very perceptive, dear. Maybe you should approach the good doctor and see if he has any insights. And Hunter, be circumspect. Doctor Strange is no fool. the Salem witches hide here before meeting their end.
Whenever we foil Hydra's plans. Ah, Hunter, I was just admiring the collection. Someone spent a great deal of time piecing this library together. I hope you don't mind me, uh, having a look around. Of course not, Doctor. The library is an asset to us all. I see I'm not the only one who's taken an interest in these works. You haven't been getting into anything precarious, I hope. We... I've found something on the Abbey grounds that I think you should see. Oh, sounds mysterious. By all means, lead the way. I typically avoid venturing this far from the Abbey, especially at night. It makes Tony nervous, you see. There's an unsettling air about this place. This church belonged to a preacher named Hiram Shah. His influence turned Salem against its coven. A charismatic personality and a fearful populace can do much evil together. There was more to it than that. Yes, I suspected as much. You were right to bring this to my attention, Hunter. We thought it resembled one of your wards of protection. There's a reason for that. It's the same magic Wanda invoked in her attempts to protect the Sanctum. But what is it that you're chasing out here? These wards aren't something to toy with. I will not know for sure until I get past this. Is there any way to dispel it? Unfortunately, no. What good would the wards of protection be if they were so easily broken? But I have been wrong before, at least recently. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have conjured this here? Wanda spent a great deal of time out here, and she had the power. She does have some experience with these spells. But why would she do that? The only way I will know for sure is to find a way through to the other side. I'll think on it and see if I can come up with some way to assist you, Hunter. For now, though, you'll have to be patient. our path.
worst part about that Hydra job? Never a dull moment. I have heard that Wanda's power comes from Cuthon. The way I understand it, as a child, Wanda and her family lived in Transia, not far from Mount Wondagore. Within that mountain, the Dark God Cuthon had long been imprisoned, his corruptive influence an ongoing threat to the people of Transia. And Wanda was affected? Whether Cuthon reached out to Wanda, or he found her by chance, I can't say. But Wanda was blessed or cursed by Cuthon, touched by the power of chaos magic. While he had hoped to make her some sort of acolyte, she proved to be more capable than even he foresaw. What can you tell me about Cuthon? One of the first Elder Gods, Cuthon is said to have existed for tens of millions of years, well before the dawn of humanity on Earth. Believe it or not, he wasn't always the bastion of evil that we know today. This story sounds familiar. As the legend goes, the downfall of the Old Gods was actually brought upon by Cuthon's brother Set, who found that by consuming his siblings, he could gain their power. After Set consumed Hypus, Cuthon followed suit with the others, and in this way, many of the first gods also became the first demons. And how did he come to be imprisoned on Earth? In the same way Hydra has worked to restore Lilith, various cultists of the past sought to revive Cuthon to wield his power. When Cuthon failed to cooperate, these same cultists did the only thing they could, they locked him away again. What do you know about Transia? Transia is your ancestral homeland, Hunter. The birthplace of Lilith and Caretaker. It has always been a sort of magical junction, drawing in every type of occultist, sorcerer, and even the occasional Elder God. The Abbey Grounds still behave in much the same way, even after all this time. And Wondagore? Wondagore Mountain has always played a prominent role in whatever scheme was underway. Cathon himself is said to have created the Darkhold, deep within the caverns of the mountain. What was Caretaker like when she was younger? I'm sure it's difficult to remember now, but Sarah wasn't always the steadfast contrarian. In our younger days, she was much more enthusiastic about dashing off to save the day, not unlike some of our younger allies among the Suns. That does not sound like the caretaker we know and love. Keep in mind, Hunter. Sarah has faced a great deal of loss in her time here. Everyone she ever cared about, in fact. I would say she's earned the right to be disagreeable, at the very least. She is a very strong woman. I'm not sure I would have held up as well, given the same circumstances. Who were the Knights of Wondagore? Another mysterious group of heroes, in a world full of mysterious groups. Of course, I'm no expert on transient history. I do know that the Knights of Wondergore were formed as a response to the growing threat of Cathan's influence near the mountain. What exactly did they do? Hydra was hardly the first to dabble in Cathanic schemes. Many have tried and failed to awaken the Dark God. Over the centuries, the Knights fought alongside a number of allies who stood against the various crazed worshippers of Cathan. You were there? At the Witch Trials? Not initially, no. If I had been, I like to think I could have stopped them before it was too late. I sensed something was wrong, 
And when the witches cried out in distress, I came to Salem as quickly as I could. But Shah had already committed his crimes against them? Yes. It was a devastating discovery. And for the longest time, I blamed myself. But you see now it was not your fault. I've come to understand that we must accept the past and move on. But that doesn't mean I won't always carry that pain with me. I know that feeling all too well. I know. And I wish you didn't, dear. I really do. Good girl, Charlie. What's up, Hunter? Could we speak in private? Will this lead to the two of us shouting at one another? I cannot see how. Then, yes. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. A surprise party? Have you met magic? Why do you say that? Oh, just a feeling. What does Nico want from me? Can you handle the cake? Of course. The trick will be hiding the icing. Magic Sweet Tooth can lead her to cupcakes at 50 paces. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just... be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but who am I if I'm not Sorcerer Supreme? Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me even when I've lost faith in myself. 
You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Just like you wanted. Here's the latest from Hydra World. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. We'll do as you wish. Sending on an op. Bye. I'm quite pleased with these results. more coil for me? How does this look? Lucky day, huh? Let's do it. Ready for more? An enhanced spell. Most welcome. Too. Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hell Ride. I always like to show her to all my friends, and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. 
like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family, but, well, sometimes I feel more like invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not, but I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Yes, hello. I have something for you. Oh? Here you are. Wonderful. We can use it in the ritual. Magic. Do you consider yourself Russian? You answer first. What country can you say you belong to? I have never paid much attention to borders and flags. I am the same way. Living in Hell's antechamber alters your perspective on the folly of nations. What would you do if a country took issue with you? Huh. Move my candy stockpile to limbo. Then wait until it all blew over. I'm not smiling. I am pleasantly surprised.
Hydra forces are transferring some of their equipment out of this area, and you have a chance to intercept it. You'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. This feels all too familiar. Shall be of great help. something. Here's one for you. Going for it. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Getting the other key. No rich. 
retreat. I will not return back. More souls come for judgment. Another of the crates is armed to detonate. Get to that key card. That was the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces. Let's get you home. My strength grows. Back in the fight. Welcome, assistance. Possibly match your strength. It is time. Leave some for the rest of us. so much. won't be receiving.
Yo, got a sec? Hey, Hunter. Parker and I cooked something up, and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on. Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. I tell you what, if you come with me, just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it! Told you. You want to give the rundown, or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hell Ride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty! For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know, Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit. But we can have it ready pretty quick. If I had a web shooter, you could spend more time in the shop. Maybe. But you'd probably glue yourself to the floor. And what would that do to the great and mighty Hunter's reputation? Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. So, how'd it turn out? Better than expected. Sick. That's about it. I'm going to stick around and work on this.
So, that's the shop. What do you think? You and Parker have outdone yourselves. Then think of what the three of us can do. I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again. Shop class? Right. That's what we're calling our time here. See you then. Parker, you sticking around? You're asking me if I'm sticking around? <laughs> Walked into that one. Like a spider web? What do you say? Dude, don't make me roll up a newspaper. Not many of those left. Good for me, bad for democracy. But yeah, I'll be around. <laughs>